It's all right. You're going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and get a... Did you call anybody? I called my dad. Okay. No, no problem. Don't worry about it. We'll call a, we'll call a tow. She said she called her dad and he was going to come get her. But, you know, she's... She was on the on the little bridge up there with no light. So, I mean, that could have easily turned into another accident. Um, thank God we came when we did, so. So, I spent 12 hours in 10 degree weather and, you know, I'm going home, heading home, thinking, oh, my warm house. But no, I get there and the power is out. It had been out for quite some time. So, we, we were actually with that power for about over 30 hours we were out and um yeah it's pretty uh I, I was i was i wasn't frustrated but i was a little like you know <laughs> feeling uh, i guess upset because hey you know i've already been on the street cold i want to come home and be warm how come how come there's no power i wasn't wasn't able to charge my cell phone Oh, something's going on. It. So, in progress, just. Oh, wow. So, we just drove up to. Apparently somebody just jumped off the... This guy is in. I don't want to have you MS pulled up, so we're out. Female on the ground. Please don't let me die. No, you're not going to die. We have EMS. We EMS, EMS is rolling up, okay? Is she a white female? Is the other lady a white female? Yeah. What is she driving? Yes, white female. What is she driving? We're gonna take care of you. Just tell me what the other lady is driving. <laughs> One of the calls that we responded to was at a hotel that was um, packed with um, people staying there and p people that might have not had power at their house. Uh, this disturbance uh, ended up in a woman falling off the balcony, a second floor balcony at that. Nora 23, it's gonna be a good fire and the fire department's on scene. We responded to an arson fire. According to the notes, the report stated that there were homeless people at the location that had set a car on fire. Uh, it wasn't a car, it was just a lot of trash. It appears that the homeless people had started the fire so they could keep warm. Hempstead, yes, we're gonna intercept him. You're chopping out. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's going northbound. And finally, we ended the night with a chase that began in Harris County's District 2. It might have lasted anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, and it ended in um, HPD's jurisdiction. Both departments came together, and we were able to detain four out of the five suspects. It might be a stolen vehicle. Uh, as of now, it hasn't been reported stolen, but maybe uh, within a few hours when the owner does wake up, sees that his vehicle's gone, might call us and report it stolen. This is my fourth 12-hour shift, yes. And then, I mean, the second day, actually, I was actually here 14 hours. So, man, we're, you know, it's, it's, it's tiring, but hey, I signed up for it. I knew I was going to, you know, be dealing with stuff like this, but I'm still... I still have that positive attitude where, hey, I'm, I'm here to help, you know?